Hey, this is Chris and Chris here in the Daily Brigandi. Congratulations to the one and only Derek Jeter. The captain, the best there ever was. Right, inducted into the Hall of Fame today, so or yesterday, so we want to show some great Jeter items. Uh, you know, we're big Jeter fans ourselves. Grew up watching Jeter. Uh, he was my idol, and yours as well, right? Yeah, we go back and forth all day long at work, talking about how great he was, the memories, the moments. You know, being at the stadium, watching him on TV. Um, can obviously go on and on. Fordham University Polo have to represent the Bronx for Jeter today. Um, but excited for him, happy for the captain. Great day for the city. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I mean, growing up, Jeter was my favorite. Um, 1996, his first World Series, his rookie year. I was uh, at the World Series, I was 11 years old. Like, it's just something I'll never forget. So not only is my favorite, but like, this stuff is just nostalgic to me. Yeah, the memories, you know, that, that Yankee dynasty. Right. Whether you love them or hate them, they're iconic to baseball, they're important to baseball, and he was at the forefront of it and uh, the leader of that team. So uh, well earned, you know, being inducted at 99.7%. Mm -hmm. Nobody knows who that one guy was that didn't vote. <laughs> That's for another That's time. That's okay, yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah, okay, let's talk about the memorabilia. Enough about us, uh, how much we love Derek <laughs> Jeter. So um, Derek Jeter, obviously, he's a modern athlete. These guys sign a lot, um, and Jeter's no exception. He signs often. Um, so we want to talk about items that maybe you can differentiate your uh, collection um, and, and how to do that. So, like I said, Jeter signs, but it also he's one of these rare guys who does sign a lot, but there's so much demand, right? Yeah, exactly. Kind of the same thing with, um, you know, and, and a modern player too, not just the amount of signing, but a modern guy. You know, you think of other guys, Jordan, Gretzky, LeBron. These guys do sign. They're out there. They're modern players, right. but they just always demand value right? Um, because of how iconic they truly are. Right. So uh, let's talk in. Uh, we want to show some great items here. First, we have the photo here. Um, yeah, so yeah, it's, um, you know, if, if you guys are familiar, DJ3K. This is when he hit his 3,000th uh, hit, which, of course, um, classic Jeter. He had to do it up big and hit a home run. Um, so here, as Chris was saying, to distinguish your collection, this isn't just a signed photo. Jeter also in his hand wrote 3,000th hit um with the date so july 9th 2011 if you're fans like us you remember exactly where you were that day and um you know it's just not your typical jeter 8x10 signed photo it's a little bit different um you right. know if you know a little about jeter's autographs in general he rarely puts inscriptions on things yeah so. absolutely and you know i've uh, i've spoken with people and i know fans who have actually specifically asked jeter to pen you know certain inscriptions and uh, he's kind of given them a little smirk but did not include the inscription. Right. So the fact that it's on this photo um, just makes it great and that much better than what it would be um, right. you know, with just a Because there's probably tons of photos out there that he signed, just Derek Jeter, which are great. Yeah, it's know? awesome. Uh, but, something uh, just like this. You know, this was an iconic Jeter moment too. Yeah, the flip. Um, right, and you just have a signature here. Great item, I'd love to put it up on my mantle too. Um, but the inscription on that one really sets it apart. Yeah, absolutely. And then another thing we talk about, um, our full name signature. So not just putting a nice note and inscription, but adding a little bit more, you know, to the name. So there you have the Derek Sanderson Jeter. Right, yes, yeah, so we have a full name autograph here. Um, collecting full names on baseballs uh, is a... That goes back in the hobby. That's an old pastime asking for uh, the you know first, middle, and last name. So here we have Derek Sanderson Jeter. Um, and again, something he doesn't um, necessarily like to do. He does it, but it's uh, pretty rare. And um, again, the reason probably is because you know it takes a little extra time, more ink to do it. Um, and the amount of time he could do that, he could probably sign you know two or three balls. Yeah, exactly. Um, so yeah, just awesome pieces here. A um, lot of Jeter memorabilia, you know, will be uh, definitely showing some more off as the week goes on because it is such a special moment for New York, for Jeter, for the Yankees, and, um, you know, one of the best to ever do it. Yeah, so we'll do um, all week long. I think we're going to show off some more Jeter memorabilia. We'll hit some game view stuff, some bats, um, and just kind of show off our favorite uh, pieces. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and to stir the pot a little bit, we did mention the voting before, 997 so in the comments, let's see what you guys think about it. Should Jeter have been unanimous? Were the voters correct? Should he have been less? Um, interesting to see what you guys think. I think I know what you think. I think the people know what I think because um, right. we're fans, but uh, it'll be fun. Absolutely. Uh, thanks for watching the Daily Brigandi for Chris and Chris. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow.